This video demonstrates the use of a leap motion controller for calibration and interaction within an optical see-through augmented reality system. Our hardware configuration utilizes an N-Visor ST50 head-mounted display onto which the leap motion controller is attached via a custom 3D printed mount. An additional camera, a decased Microsoft LifeCam HD6000 is also mounted to the front of the display in order to facilitate marker tracking within our AR application. Calibration of the see-through display is achieved using a variant of the single point active alignment method. A stylus created from a cylindrical rod is aligned to a series of on-screen reticle locations. The tip of the stylus is tracked using the leap motion and multiple screen to stylus correspondences are used to approximate the final perspective projection. This straightforward technique allows the tracking information from the leap motion to be overlaid onto the user's own natural viewpoint through the display. Further enhancements can be achieved by calibrating the leap motion coordinate frame to a secondary tracking system, such as our mounted camera. A separate calibration jig is required to determine this transformation. Starting with an aluminum rod wrapped in reflective tape, we attach a fiducial marker placed such that the center of the marker aligns with the center line of the rod. Combining known measurements of the rod with live tip and direction tracking information obtained from the leap motion allows us to generate two point clouds, each representing the fiducial marker center within the tracking volume. One set of points created by the leap motion data and the second by the camera images, which in our case is acquired using AR Toolkit computer vision algorithms. By calculating the absolute orientation between the two point sets using horns, umayamas, or similar algorithm, proper transformation between coordinate frames is achieved. In this case, we are transforming the leap motion data into the camera's frame of reference. This allows us to incorporate hand interaction into our video see-through applications, producing a natural means for occluding virtual objects. By simply combining this process with the display calibration procedure, we are able to achieve an identical level of interaction and object occlusion in optical see-through AR. Even though our example is confined to fiducial marker tracking by an RGB camera, it is straightforward to extend our method to work with infrared, acoustic, and other tracking systems as well. Given the growing prevalence of hand and depth sensing technologies in the consumer market, we believe that the calibration and interaction techniques we've showcased will become essential aspects in the development of novel AR applications for the next generation of head-mounted displays.